Early Access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. In today's video I'm going to walk you through all of the daily tasks in the Dusty Dwelling Sim Springs event. So Dusty Dwelling is the second event. The first one is Tumbleweed Terrace, so check that out if you want to see that one first. Once you have completed Tumbleweed Terrace, you will then see the start timer button. You can wait seven days and the timer will then start automatically or you can start it straight away to begin the 10 day event. Check out my guide to Sim Springs Sandy Suburbs video if you would like to see how this event works in more detail generally as we'll just be focusing on the dusty dwelling house lot in this video. Once you have completed this 10 day event you will unlock the grand prize which is the dusty dwelling house template. This prize also includes other items I'll explain those at the end of the video when we get to the prizes section. If you manage to complete days 7, 8, 9 and 10, each within 24 hours, you will unlock extra zesty prizes which are two tops, two pants and two shoes for preteen male sims and one mystery key. The daily tasks for day one are place three bookshelves at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, look around Dusty Dwelling using a tree and remove two gas bottles. I will show you how to do these tasks in this video but I'm not going to walk you through them, I'm not going to say this is how you check in with Johnny, I'll just show you on the screen how to complete them. This is the early access version so I'll just be speeding through these with social points. This is not my real game, I will be completing it on my real game without many social points. You can use more than one sim on tasks that require multiple sims such as the remove two gas bottles. So I've got two sims completing this. If you do skip those tasks with social points it will remove the gas bottles still anyway. Remember, for some of these tasks you will need to buy items to be able to complete them, so I need to place a tree here to be able to complete the look around dusty dwelling task. And that completes day one. Completing day one earns a free LP. So you can start day two early using social points or you can wait for the next day to begin automatically. Day two's tasks are spend 96,000 at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zist, clean mysterious garbage using a plant, find 16 old photographs using eight sims, clear four old jerry cans. Make sure when you're completing tasks that require more than one sim that you use all of those sims to complete it at the same time, otherwise you will waste time and it will be harder to complete the event in the time limit. The mystery garbage task requires a plant. One of the cheaper free star ones is the barrel of flowers which costs 500 simoleons. For the find 16 old photographs task you can use 8 sims at one time. You'll find this option on many household items. If you do use social points to quick complete you will find more than if you completed it normally. So there we found 4 and we probably would have found 2 if we just waited for it to complete after waiting the 1 hour and 50 minutes. The last task we need to spend 
96,000 simoleons at Dusty Dwelling. The best thing to do is to build rooms and basements while you have this task available. It's best to spend your money on that day rather than on a day where you don't need to spend any money, otherwise you'll find it very difficult on the days that require you to spend simoleons. If you are going to use social points to speed your way through this, I'd recommend selecting the skip all button at the bottom. It will save you some social points than if you skip them all individually. So completing day two earns us 6,000 simoleons. So let's get started on day three now. Day three tasks are place two beds at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, consider garbage origins using a couch and throw out four old lanterns. If you're interested, this bed is from the Captivating Coast Live event. And that completes day three. Day three earns us three social points. So let's start day four now. Day four's tasks are play six windows at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, meet the neighbours using a phone, study SimCity using a computer, and brainstorm renovation ideas 10 times using dining chairs. So let's check in with Johnny. We skip that one. Then we can meet the neighbours. For this we need a phone. I placed some of these items from the first house in my inventory to be able to show you quicker on this event. So you'll find that option on the phone. Next is study Sim City using a computer. Again, I've got one in my inventory to place. And then we need a dining table and chairs for the next one. So let's place those two. So you'll find the brainstorm ideas option on the chair. You need 10 chairs because 10 Sims need to complete this at the same time. Remember, they need to be around a dining table to complete it too. And then this is the study SimCity option on the computer. So let's place windows and then we are done with day four. I'm just going to place the first windows I can find. Obviously, when you do this, you'll probably find some nicer ones. But let's just place these single tan ones. We need six of them, so we're just going to place six to complete this task. And now we're going to use social points to skip the rest of those tasks. So we can move on and see the task for day five. Completing day four earns us 10,000 simoleons. So let's start this early with social points. And move on to day five. Day five's tasks are check in with Johnny Zest, invest in a dusty dwelling, suspect the neighbours using a phone, eat 15 handfuls of comfort food from a fridge, and find 45 suburban blueprints using 15 sims. So again we all know how to check in with Johnny, but you'll see the invest option on Johnny this time. The invest options work like they do with pregnancy events and sim chase mastery classes. You have to pay a certain amount to be able to complete this task basically. But as you can see, if you use social points, the amount is the same if you choose to skip it as it would be to complete it. So that is definitely the better option. Obviously, if you need to use simoleons, then it will take longer to complete. Suspect the neighbours can be found on the phone. For the next one, we need to eat 15 handfuls of comfort food. Now, this requires 15 sims to complete it at one time. Obviously, you can only have 10 sims at Dusty Dwelling, but the other five can be at the first house. They can be at Tumbleweed Terrace. 
because it needs to be completed in sim springs so you've got two houses so you can have them throughout both the houses so the comfort food option is on the fridge and you can also find the blueprints using the fridge too the blueprints can be found using household items such as the fridge the computer a bookcase a dining chair etc and remember if you use social points to skip you will earn more than if you completed it normally so we found four blueprints by skipping with social points you'd probably find two or three if you were to complete it by waiting the time so that's day five complete you earn five lp for completing day five let's use social points to start day six early so day six tasks are place two tvs at dusty dwelling check in with johnny zest spy on neighbors using a tree and hype up sim springs using a tree remember if you don't have an item you need to complete a task then you do need to buy one or you can store one in your inventory from SimTown and place it in this house so you need a tree on this lot to be able to complete both the spa neighbors and hype up sim springs tasks and again click on johnny zest for the check-in task then we need two tvs in this house so we have one already let's just place another one day six is usually pretty easy so let's skip those and move on to the next day by completing day six you will earn 14,000 simoleons and four social points let's start day seven now so day seven is the start of the zest zone you need to complete day seven 8, 9 and 10 within 24 hours each. So you have 24 hours to complete day 7, 24 hours to complete day 8 and so on. If you want to earn these extra zesty prizes, which are the clothes for male preteens. Day 7's tasks are spend 288,500 at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, argue with neighbours using a phone, write development plan using a dining chair and read tabloid about Johnny Zest using a magazine. Select the option on the phone to argue with neighbours. Click on a dining chair to write development plans. And then we need some magazines in this house to be able to complete the read tabloid about Johnny Zest task. You can find magazines in the living room section. I already have some in my inventory. And you can find that option for four hours on the magazines. Final task is spend simoleons at Dusty Dwelling. Remember this will probably be less for you if you aren't on level 55 in the game. I'm just going to do my fail safe and build some basements. That usually completes that task pretty quickly. Not quite enough, let's place some stairs. That should do it. And it has, that completes day 7. Completing day 7 earns us 3 LP and 5 social points. I'm just going to make this room slightly bigger so you can actually use the stairs. Great, on to day 8 now. The tasks for day 8 are place 2 dining tables at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, complain to Johnny Zest, hear apology from Johnny Zest, ruminate about Johnny Zest, using a dining chair and find 56 tiny llamas using 14 sims that was very zesty so we can find three of the tasks on Johnny himself so you can see the complain here apology and check-in options we can use the dining chair to ruminate about Johnny and we can also find the tiny llamas on the dining chair. Again, you can find the llamas using household items such as 
the dining chairs, couch, bookshelves, fridge and computer. As you can have 14 sims complete this in one go, you can have 10 sims in Dusty Dwelling and the other 4 can be in Tumbleweed Terrace which is the first house as they need to be completed in Sim Springs. Let's just buy another dining table to complete this task and that completes day 8. Completing day 8 earns us 16,000 simoleons and one mystery key. Let's get started on day 9 now. The tasks for day 9 are place 8 dining chairs at Dusty Dwelling. Check in with Johnny Zest, prepare apology pastry using a stove, make up with neighbours using a phone, celebrate Sim Springs using a stereo, read Sim Springs history using a bookshelf, and remember 15 past mistakes using a mirror. To prepare the apology pastry we need to buy a stove from the kitchen section. For some reason I forgot to place a freestar stove but if you were using a freestar stove to complete this task it would only take you 5 hours. Select the option on a phone to make up with neighbours. And celebrate Sim Springs using the option on a stereo. Once I've placed my freestyle stereo, we'll be able to do that one. While my Sim is completing that one, we can buy four more dining chairs as we need eight. Next we can read Sim Springs History. You'll find the option on a bookshelf. To remember 15 past mistakes we need 15 mirrors and 15 sims to complete it. Again you can only have 10 in this house. The other 5 will have to be in Tumbleweed Terrace which is the first house in Sim Springs. And that completes day 9. Completing day 9 earns a 6 LP, 6 social points and 1 mystery box key. Let's get started on the 10th and final day now. So day 10's tasks are spend 385,000 simoleons at Dusty Dwelling, check in with Johnny Zest, have a sneaky sleep using a couch, get 15 second opinions using a phone, update Johnny Zest on progress, and clear 75 sand bunnies using 15 sims. Let's get started with Johnny Zest. So we've got the update on progress and check-in tasks on him. We need to select the option on a couch to have a sneaky sleep. You'll also find the clear sand bunnies option on the couch, as well as like the dining chair, the bookcase, the computer. All those tasks that require you to find certain items around the house all work the same. You're just trying to find something different each time. So you can use up to 15 sims. So again, you can have 10 in this house and five in Tumbleweed Terrace. So get second opinion using a phone, you need 15 second opinions, so you need 15 sims using 15 phones. Again, have 10 in this house and the 5 others in Tumbleweed Terrace. The final task is spend simoleons. I'm not going to show you this one. Pretty sure you know how to spend money in the game, so I'm just going to skip to the end. So 
so this is how the house looks after we've spent all that money obviously it's still not complete but I just want to show you all these tasks and get through it don't really have the time to be making this house look amazing that's all sorted so let's skip all and complete this event that's day 10 complete so we've earned 20,000 simoleons 8 LP 10 social points and 2 mystery keys we completed the event so we've unlocked the grand prize house template and other items remember these prizes are available even if you don't manage to complete in the time limit but you still complete the event the house template can be found on a standard and a premium residence under the driveway homes tab check out my dusty dwelling household video to see that in more detail and we also completed the zest zone in the time limit if you manage to do that you will find the preteen male items in a wardrobe and create a sim once you complete the dusty dwelling event you will get the pop-up to begin the third event arid apartments the timer will automatically start after seven days but you can start it straight away if you want to from the sim springs overview but if you do choose to wait seven days the timer will begin automatically once those seven days are up and that is how to complete the dusty dwelling sim springs event on the sims free play if you found this video helpful please like it and please subscribe to my channel I regularly post Sims Freeplay videos, I also have a blog, theguidelines.blog, and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay, including my Guide to Sims Springs Sandy Suburbs post. Thanks for watching, bye!